Coming up, it's the high school quiz show semifinals with Acton Boxborough Regional High School. <laughs> Taking on Somerville High School. Yeah. That's next on High School Quiz Show. You can file a claim. You can pay your bill. Safety's mobile app helps you manage life storms for your auto, home, and business. Ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Welcome to High School Quiz Show, everybody. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Today's matchup is the second of our semifinal rounds. The winner today will earn the final spot in the Massachusetts State Championship and the chance to become the next high school quiz show state champion. Before we meet the teams, if you're watching at home, it's time to grab for the mobile phone, the tablet, or the laptop so you can play along with us live. Log on right now at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. Today's matchup has Acton Boxborough Regional High School taking on Somerville High School. Let's get right to it and meet the teams. From Acton Boxborough, we have Spencer, Tom, Kevin, and Victor. Let's hear it for Acton Boxborough. <laughs> and from Somerville High School, we've got Celine, Miles, Graham, and John. Let's hear it for Somerville High. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -to -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We start with a toss-up round, all answers worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Uh, there is no conferring. You'll need to wait for the complete question to be read before you can buzz in. So if everybody's ready, here we go. Semi-final round, and good luck, teams. In 1620, William Bradford and Miles Standish set sail from Southampton, England to board what ship? Celine. The Mayflower. Correct. What Spanish city is one of the few European capitals not located on a major river? Celine. Madrid. Yes. Uh, what Greek hero is best known for saving Andromeda from a sea monster and for slaying the Gorgon Medusa? Celine. Perseus. Yes. Uh, named after a valley in Germany, what species coexisted with Homo sapiens in Europe and became extinct about 30,000 years ago? Graham. Neanderthals. Correct. Uh, limestone is a sedimentary rock that's composed mainly of what compound known as CaCO3? Miles. Calcium carbonate. Yes. Uh, what five words follow Elizabeth Barrett Browning's celebrated line, how do I love thee? Victor. Let me count the ways. Yes. Uh, the American Film Institute chose 50 greatest heroes and 50 greatest villains. What Arnold Schwarzenegger character is the only one to appear on both lists? Tom. Terminator. Yes. On May 4th, 1970, Ohio National Guardsmen Fired on students during an anti-war protest at what university? Kevin. Kent State. Yes. Uh, the pyramids of Egypt were built by paid laborers. The myth that they were built by slaves is attributed to what Greek historian called the father of history? Celine. Herodotus. Yes. And your next question will be up on your video screens. And here it comes. Very special guest. Hi. I'm Senator Elizabeth Warren, and here's my question. The Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act was signed into law in 2010. This sweeping financial reform legislation was co-sponsored by Senator Chris Dodd and what recently retired congressman from Newton, Massachusetts. Celine. Um, Barney Frank. That is correct. Uh, King Rama the Ninth, the world's longest serving current head of state, lives in what capital city of Thailand? Victor. Bangkok. Yes. Charms and boosters are associated with what addictive game that was Apple's most downloaded app of 2013? Victor. Candy Crush. 
Yes. Uh, what transition occurs when a substance is directly converted from the solid state to the vapor without its becoming liquid? Yes, Graham? Sublimation. Yes. Which of the following is the point in the path of a celestial body, such as a planet that is nearest to the sun? Is it A, azimuth, B, summer solstice, or C, perihelion? Tom? Perihelion. That is correct. Here comes a math question. What is the value of A minus B if A equals 24 and B equals negative 6? Graham? 30. Correct. Uh, what Dutch artist painted only one seascape, Storm on the Sea of Galilee, which was stolen from the Isabella Gardner Museum in 1990? Victor. Remember it. Yes. During President Nixon's final days in office, what Secretary of State predicted that Watergate would be relegated to a minor footnote in history? Spencer. Henry Kissinger. Yes. Uh, what beautiful idyllic place is mentioned? in the first line of the poem Kubla Khan by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Yes, Celine. Xanadu? Yes. And your next question is from the Nova Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers web series, and it's going to be on your video screen. Here it comes. Hi, I'm Steven Pinker, and I'm a linguist, an experimental psychologist, and a cognitive scientist. Here's my question. In the 1960s, what American linguist pioneered the idea that children are born with an unconscious knowledge of the basic principles underlying all languages? And Victor. Noam Chomsky. Yes. Which of the following is not one of the four corners of the American West? A, Colorado. B, New Mexico. C, Nevada. Victor. Nevada. Yes. Uh, what Canadian ice hockey legend who began his NHL career with the Edmonton Oilers is known as the Great One? John. Wayne Gretzky. Yes. Uh, most gene expression is a two-step process. First, DNA is converted into RNA in a process called transcription. Next, RNA is converted into proteins in a process called what? Celine. Um, fixation. No. Yes, Victor. Translation. Yes. In the Harry Potter series, a dark wizard can try to attain immortality by hiding a part of his soul in what powerful object? Graham. A horcrux. Yes. Math question. What six-letter word describes any angle that is greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees? And miles. Obtuse. No. Acton Boxborough. Yes, Kev. Reflex. Yes. What English admiral was knighted by Queen Elizabeth in 1581 for successfully circumnavigating the globe? Graham. Magellan. No, Acton Boxborough. Yes, Victor. Drake. Yes. Uh, what celebrated filmmaker from Ashfield, Massachusetts, directed The Ten Commandments and The Greatest Show on Earth? Spencer. Billy Wilder. No, Somerville, you want to try? Cecil B. DeMille. Uh, at the 1974 Rumble in the Jungle in Zaire, Muhammad Ali defeated what world heavyweight champion? Spencer. Joe Frazier. No, Somerville, you want to try it? George Foreman. Uh, according to the website Global Language Monitor, what numeric status code for online failure was the top word of 2013 on the Internet? Celine. 501. No, Acton Boxmore, Victor. 404. Yes. Uh, Mark Haddon's novel, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, is titled after a quote from what fictional detective in the 1892 short story, Silver Blaze? Yes, Grant. Sherlock Holmes. Yes. In Einstein's formula E equals MC squared, what does the letter C represent? Tom. The speed of light. Yes, in 1871, uh, journalist Henry M. Stanley began his famous expedition in Africa to locate what missing Scottish missionary? Yes, Kevin. Dr. Livingstone? Yes. The San Andreas Fault is a boundary line between the Pacific Plate and what other tectonic plate? Tom? The North American plate. Yes. Uh, Massachusetts banned slavery after what African-American woman successfully sued for her freedom in 1781? Victor. Phyllis Wheatley. No, Somerville. Want to try? Elizabeth Freeman, uh, the answer there. Uh, John Milton wrote and published his epic poem, Paradise Lost, in what century? 
Victor? 17th. Yes. Uh, Lake of the Woods is a scenic lake shared by Ontario, Manitoba, and what U.S. state? Miles. Minnesota. Yes. Uh, what Japanese admiral was responsible for major battles such as Pearl Harbor and Midway? Kevin. Yamamoto. Yes. After taking part in a revolt led by Spartacus, 6,000 slaves were crucified along what Roman highway known as Queen of the Long Roads? Celine. The Apian Way. Yes. Oh, and uh, that's the buzzer ending round one. Uh, the score right now. Acton Boxborough, 190 points. It's close. Somerville High, 150 points. Let's hear it for both teams. <laughs> now, the head to head round is up next for this 90 second round. Each team gets to pick one player. So, Acton Boxborough, who's it going to be? We're going with Victor and uh, Somerville High. Celine, Victor, Celine, come on down. We're going head to head. <laughs> All right, the head to head round is next. This is Victor on my right. This is Celine on my left. Why don't you guys shake hand before Good we luck. get going? Our head to head round is 90 seconds. You get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. And you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. If you guys are ready, the clock is set. Let's play. The colony of Rhode Island was founded in 1636 by Roger Williams. Scientists measure how high or low a sound is with what unit abbreviated HZ? Yes. Hertz. Uh, what planet is named after the Roman god of agriculture and time? Yes. Venus? No, Saturn. Uh, what U.S. president advocated a foreign policy known as Big Stick? Yes. Teddy Roosevelt? Yes. Uh, what 1964 book by Shel Silverstein has just two characters, a boy and a tree? Yes. The Giving Tree? Yes. What 20th century conflict is synonymous with the concept of trench warfare? Yes. World War I. Yes. On uh, March 21st, 1963, the last prisoners were transferred from what island in San Francisco Bay? Alcatraz. Yeah. Yes. In January 2013, who was sworn in as the new mayor of New York City? Yes. Bill de Blasio? Yeah. Uh, what landlocked South American country is bordered by both Chile and Brazil? Bolivia? Yes. In the three estates of pre-revolutionary France, the clergy belonged to which... Yes. First estate. Correct. Uh, who was president of the United States when Americans first landed on the moon? Kennedy? No, Richard Nixon. With more than 166 million people, what is the most populous country in Africa? Nigeria. Yes. Who won the 1961 Pulitzer Prize for fiction for her novel To Kill a Mockingbird? Harper Lee. Correct. Uh, which constitutional amendment guarantees the right to peaceful assembly? First Amendment. Yes, the 1862 Battle of Shiloh took place in what? Yes. Um, Maryland. No, Tennessee. And that's the end of the round. Uh, the score right now, Acton, Boxborough, 280 points. Somerville High, 150 points. Let's hear it for Victor and Celine and Acton, Boxborough and Somerville. Contestants here in studio and for everybody playing along at home is the category round. We have six categories and they are My Fair Ladybug, Long Walk to Freedom, Chances Are, Wherefore Romeo, Home for the Holidays, and New Words. Each category has five questions with increasing point values a lot at stake in this round teams you can confer with your teammates and you'll need to wait for the complete question to be read before you can buzz in but once you do you're no longer able to confer and we will need your answer uh somerville you've got some ground to make up you'll get to choose the first category and what is it gonna be chances are chances are questions about probability Please express your answer as a fraction, not as a percentage. And for 10 points, if two fair coins are tossed at the same time, what is the probability in lowest terms of getting two tails? Victor? One fourth. One fourth is right. And you get the board, Acton Boxborough. Long walk to freedom. Questions about uh, Nelson Mandela. And for 10 points, 
1944, Nelson Mandela joined what black liberation group known as the ANC? Celine. The African National Congress. That is correct. Somerville, you've got control back. Category? Uh, chances. Chances are for 15 points. A bag contains eight red marbles, six blue marbles, and ten yellow marbles. In lowest terms, what is the probability of randomly selecting a red marble? Yes, Spencer. One third. That is correct. And now you've got control of the board back. What's it going to be? Category? Let's go back to freedom. 15 points. Mandela spent 27 years as a political prisoner. For 18 of those years, he was incarcerated on what island off Cape Town? Spencer. Robin Island. Correct. You've still got the board. Category? Stick with it. 20 points. For their efforts to end apartheid, Nelson Mandela and what South African president were jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993? Celine. Baiko? No, Acton Box. Yes, Victor. F.W. De Klerk. That is correct. You've still got the board. Acton Boxborough. Stick with it. 25 points in 1995. Mandela appointed what uh, Anglican Archbishop as head of the Truth and Reconciliation Committee? Miles. Desmond Tutu. That is correct. Category? Freedom. Freedom for 30. In a grand gesture of reconciliation, President Mandela strode onto the field of the 1995 World Cup wearing the shirt of the Springboks, South Africa's national team in what sport? Yes, Spencer. Rugby. Rugby is correct. You've got the board back. You'll need a category, though. Let's go home for the holidays. Home for the holidays. Uh, questions about holidays for 10 points. In 2013, for the first time in almost 100 years, American Thanksgiving coincided with what Jewish holiday? Tom. Hanukkah. Yes, you've got it. Where are we going? Let's stick with it. 15 points. What ninth month of the Muslim calendar is the holy month of fasting? Yes, Graham. Ramadan. Yes, and now you've got the board Somerville. Holidays. Holidays. Holidays please. for 20. In the mid-17th century, all Christmas celebrations, including singing carols and decorating trees, were banned under what Puritan leader of England? Spencer. Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell is right. You've got the board back. Let's stick with it. Okay, for 25 points. What ancient holiday known as the Festival of Lights is celebrated by Hindus around the world every autumn? Uh, Celine. Diwali. Yes, and now Somerville's got control. Uh, holidays, please. Holidays for 30 points. Also known as Freedom Day or Emancipation Day, what holiday commemorates the abolition of slavery in Texas on June 19, 1865, more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation? Juneteenth, oh, that's right. the answer there. And Somerville, you've got control, but you'll need a new category, I'm afraid. Chances? Yeah. Chances, please. Chances are for 20 points. In lowest terms, what is the probability of rolling a prime number on a standard six-sided die? Graham. One in three. No, Acton Boxborough. Tom. One in two. One in two is right. Now you've got the board. Let's go to My Fair Ladybug. My Fair Ladybug. Questions about insects. And for 10 points, insects have jointed bodies divided into three segments, the head, thorax, and what? John. Abdomen. Abdomen is right. Now you've got the board. Can we stand up, please? Yeah. Ladybugs. Ladybugs for 15. During complete metamorphosis, what developmental stage follows the egg phase? Yes, Celine. Chrysalis? No, Acton Boxborough? Yes, Victor. Pupa? No, larva or larval is the answer there. And uh, Somerville, you've still got the board category. Ladybug, please. For 25 points this time, uh, the first insects appeared about 500 to 200 million years ago during what uh, geologic era that means ancient life? Yes, Victor. Paleozoic. That is right. Now, Acton Boxbauer, you've got it. Category? Let's go to Wherefore Romeo. Questions? about Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, and for 10 points. Romeo is a young man whose exact age is never stated. From dialogue in the play, we know that Juliet is just a few weeks shy of what age? Celine. 14. Yes, and now Somerville, you get the board. Category? Um, back to Ladybug. Back to Ladybug, and for 25 points. Often mistaken for locusts, what insect of North America emerges from the ground in cycles once every 13 or 17 years. Yes, Graham. A cicada. The annoying cicada, yes. <laughs> Same category, uh, please. Okay, we're going now for 30 points. Uh, insects do not have lungs. Instead, air enters through what tiny breathing holes on an insect's exoskeleton? Spiracles. 
And you've still got it, Somerville. Category? Romeo. For 15 points. Juliet says, Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a what? Yes, Graham. A Capulet. Capulet is right. How'd I do, by the way? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Somerville, where are we going? Romeo, please. Romeo for 20. A plague on both your houses. What best friend of Romeo says this after he's mortally wounded in a duel? Yes, Spencer. Mercutio. Yes, and now act in Boxborough. Category. Uh, let's go with new words. New words. Questions about new or newly popular words, and for 10 points, uh, what type of self-portrait typically taken with a camera phone was named the 2013 Word of the Year by Oxford Dictionaries? Graham. A selfie. A selfie. <laughs> uh, Somerville, where do you want to go here? Back to Romeo, Romeo, please. We're going back to Romeo for 25 points. What Franciscan friar secretly marries Romeo and Juliet in the hopes that their union will bring peace to Verona? Yes, John. Friar Lawrence. Friar Lawrence is right. Category? Romeo. Romeo. Romeo for 30 points. At the beginning of the play, Romeo is infatuated with what beautiful woman who never appears on stage? Yes, John. Rosalind. Correct. Category? New words. New words. This time for 15 points. Since the rise of social media, what's become the favored term for the number sign, also known as the pound sign? Yes, Miles? Hashtag. Hashtag. And Somerville, you've got the board. New words. New words. Uh, New York chef Dominique Anzel created what pastry? A cross between a donut and a croissant that became a craze in 2013. Yes, John. A uh, cronut. Cronut. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to go now? Stand New up. words. New words for 25. Anxiety that a social event might be happening elsewhere is known by the acronym FOMO, which stands for what? Yes, Graham. Fear of missing out. Yes, and you've still got the board. New words, New words. please. New words for 30. In a 1995 Boston Globe article called Tacky Trips Down the Aisle, Diane White used what word to describe brides who lose sight of the solemnity of the wedding? Yes, Celine. Bridezilla. Bridezilla. I <laughs> love that word. Uh, only one category left. Here we go. Chances are for 25 points, a zoo has two bears, one white and one brown. In lowest terms, what is the probability that both bears are male? Yes, Tom. Um, one in four. One in four is right. And now, oh. That's the end of the category round. The score right now, Acton, Boxborough, 500 points. Somerville High, 355 points. Let's make some noise. Oh, boy. All right, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It's the lightning round. Now, you will get 20 points for correct answers, and the incorrect answers in this round will cost you 20. You can buzz in. As soon as you know the answer, the clock is set. Before we even start, congratulations to both teams. You've done a wonderful job. Semifinals, here we go. Lightning round. In 1911, the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci was stolen from what? The yes. Louvre. Yes. Uh, what fossil fuel has the highest carbon emissions per unit? Coal. Yes. What U.S. president was in office during the stock market crash of 19... Yes, Victor. Hoover. Yes. Uh, the Falkland Islands off the coast of South America are a continuation. Argentina. No, a continuation. The Andes, uh, the answer there. Uh, George and Lenny are migrant workers in California. Graham? Of mice and men. Yes. In January 2014, who was confirmed as the first woman to head the U.S. Federal Reserve? Spencer. Janet Yellen. Yes. Alkali metals like lithium tend to lose how many electrons in a reaction? One. Correct. Uh, one American band won a 2013 Grammy Award for their song, We Are Young. Grand. Fun. Yes. Uh, the Wealth of Nations is the magnum opus. Yes. Adam Smith. Yes. In 1897, what English physicist discovered the electron? Graham. Uh, J.J. Thompson. Uh, what Asian capital city was selected to host the 2020 Summer Olympics? Yes, Victor. Uh, Seoul. No, Tokyo. Name the Russian author of the novel Crime and Punishment. Celine? Dostoevsky. Yes. Uh, the Brazos River runs 840 miles through the center of what U.S. state? Texas. Uh, what maritime province is the smallest Canadian province? Yes, Celine. 
Prince Edward Island? Yes. Who wrote about surviving a concentration camp during World War II in his memoir? Elie Wiesel. Yes. Uh, what structural metal used for nuclear reactors has the chemical symbol Z? Oh, wow. Acton Boxborough, the winner of this semi-final round with a total score of 580 points. Somerville High School, great job, 400. 35 points. Acton Boxborough now moves on to the championship round, seeking the Massachusetts State Championship here on the High School Quiz Show. But that's it for now. Make sure you're here next week. High School Quiz Show, yes! Play along with High School Quiz Show every week at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Life is full of surprises. Some good, some not so good. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance's enhanced coverage for auto, home, and business so you don't get caught by surprise. Safety insurance will help you manage life storms. Bank of America is proud to support High School Quiz Show and committed to education initiatives throughout Massachusetts, including citizen schools, Teach for America, and local boys and girls clubs. For more information, you can visit bankofamerica.com slash Boston. Production of Double.